Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Monster High Viperine and I'm making her into Madonna from her Madame X tour for a commission. In this video I'll be showing the face up and stay tuned for a look at how I style the hair and the final photos at the end. So starting off I'd rooted her with some soft alpaca yarn and sort of a golden color for the blonde hair and I comb out the excess. So after I've rooted her, I just pull up her hair into a little bit of plastic with some pins to hold it in place while I do the face up. I've done a few Madonnas now and Viperine's my favorite sculpt to, to do that with. It's some of her, some of her looks are more soft and I'll use like a Laguna or something, but Viperine seems to work well with her characteristics. I'm using several reference photos from her look with uh, the Madame X tour. So I'm using a combination of a peach color and white to give her some highlights. So I had a tight timeline for this commission so I didn't film the costume making. However, if you're a supporter over on Patreon, there's an inside look at how I did the fabric for her robe and the hat in the reward library. So after I made her uh, robe and hat, um, I also made a uh, sort of a corset and short outfit, and then also a black robe. So she's got kind of the full, the, the customer wanted kind of the full uh, overall uh, or costume changes. <laughs> So before I got started, I did do a little bit of carving on her lips just to kind of take down the pucker a little bit so it would uh, look a little bit more like Madonna's lips. I shaded the lips with some pan pastel and sort of a custom mix that I kind of scrape out some of the pan pastel colors and like magenta and uh, burnt sienna and white just to create some different pinks. I think since I've done this they've come out with some different pink colors but this has been working out pretty good for me. Uh, eventually I'll invest in some other colors I'm sure but these pan pastels last a real long time for this particular craft. The supplies that I use are in the description box below. There's a link to my Amazon storefront. I have all the supplies that I use uh, organized into uh, different sections and each of the supply I put in there, each supply that I put in there, I put a little bit of information on how I use it. So let me know if you see anything that's missing or would like me to add anything or have any questions in the comments. Also let me know how you guys, how, what do you guys think of my camera angle. I've, uh, I worked at, initially when I first started this channel, I was filming from a different angle. And so for the past few years, I've been doing this particular angle and haven't really heard any, um, any, anything good or bad about it. Um, I do adjust the angles a little bit when I can, but it is more convenient just to film from above. Um, but if this doesn't, if, if you, have any opinions about a camera angle that would be better let me know let me know what you guys think so for the eyebrows I'm shaping them with a flat a very small flat brush 
with this uh, brown color for the vase of pan pastel and then I'll shape them with uh, an eraser and then go back in with some uh, watercolor pencil, really sharp watercolor pencil to do the individual hairs. So I've been customizing dolls for about nine years now, I think. Um, <clears throat> and I, excuse me, and I still feel like I struggle with eyebrows. If you guys have any tips, let me know. So I'm just doing some contouring to kind of capture the Madonna's face, facial features using the um, reference photos to follow and adding some more uh, darker shades and lighter shades just to just kind of as if you're doing uh, your, the face with makeup, kind of just doing that contouring around the nose and uh, cheekbones and things like that. back in with white and doing some highlights around the eyebrows and then the tear ducts and philtrum. Just a reminder, if you're looking for some step-by-step -step learning, check out what I have to offer on Skillshare. I have two beginner classes that are structured in short, easy to follow lessons where you can learn at your own pace. And heads up, if you sign up through the link in the description box below, you can now get one free month with no obligation. I believe this may be for a limited time because usually it's only two weeks. They, um, they kind of changed that to two weeks last year, but now I got a notice from Skillshare that they are offering a full month with our links now. So let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments. So here's a look at how I was doing the hair. I used a chapstick that I heated up with a flat iron to give her some curls. And here are the final looks. Extra special thanks to my wonderful patrons who make these videos possible. You guys mean the world to me. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.